far better to track the return to work and travel than through demand for doggy daycare. Rover, which describes itself as Airbnb for cats and dogs, was almost brought to its knees when COVID-19 hit. But as economies around the world reopen, June was a record month for global bookings. Now business is booming. Here's the Pet Care App's chief executive, Aaron Easterly. The pet industry in generally is considered recession proof. Uh, just because uh, even when people skimp in other areas, they don't skimp on their pets and pet ownership continues to go up and pet share of wallet of household income continues to go up. Um, but, you know, it turns out if you're in the uh, travel related pet business and or go into work related pet business, that's the exception to something. Um, it, it, it was not pandemic proof. Uh, as a CEO and uh, entrepreneur, I never thought I'd see negative sales. But we went through a period uh, last year where we had negative net sales, uh, meaning the cancellations from previous bookings more than outweighed any new bookings coming in. And I didn't even know that was a possibility. <laughs> you know? I was like, oh, dear Lord. Uh, so it was brutal. He says demand for Rover's services are a bellwether for the economic recovery. You know, the business is a, is a pretty good predictor of return to normalcy. Um, the numbers in the U.S., uh, the correlation um, with travel is almost mind-boggling how perfectly correlated it is. The company went public this year via a SPAC to capitalise on the wave of pandemic puppies. We saw the signs of a massive wave of um, the adoption and the new customer acquisition, even during the pandemic. And we significantly outperformed the travel bellwethers. Uh, as the vaccine started to roll out, uh, we saw a, a wild acceleration in the business and um, even stronger than we had uh, originally forecasted. Um, you know, we wanted to be appropriately capitalized uh, for this period. So we decided to go public. Uh, we decided to go public via a SPAC. He says people have grown more attached to their pets during lockdowns, which will only drive demand for his business when they're lifted. Typically a doggy daycare or a dog walk may be like, hey, I'm at work for eight hours, nine hours. I need you to come back for a dog walk. I'm going to drop my dog off for eight hours. And um, we see some weird use cases for doggy daycare, like four o'clock to 8 p.m., 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. It's like, that's not daycare. <laughs> you know, it gets booked as daycare, but it's not daycare. Um, or, you know, 12 to 3 and um, we think that's indicative of uh, the expanding use case because of people's emotional relationship with their animals. Uh, prior to the pandemic, people may have felt perfectly comfortable leaving their animals alone for eight hours. And their animals may have been even used to that. Um, you know, like, yeah, like, you know, you know, a human goes into work uh, in the morning and they come back later and I get excited to see them. Um, but with people spending 24 hours a day around their pets, um, we, you know, we think that there are some signs that people don't feel comfortable leaving them alone for eight hours, 10 hours. So what does he see as the biggest risk to Rover and the economic recovery? I think the biggest risk is um, the, the vaccine rollout or vaccine hesitancy is high, especially in some geographies, um, or that there is eventually a, a variant emerges um, that is uh, more resistant to uh, the, the vaccines. Um, so that is the biggest risk for the business.